Pleasure to hear. I started off my journey when massive over course in New Hampshire and the city of the snow. I was worried about the fear of the snow. And it's a pleasure to hear us talk about and share the vision of this entire use of time back in the depressing sense. I did. I got so much fun with me about the time. For those of you who think that I'm still a hunger, I wrote here many things, and some names that you might have heard about, but I have to explain some things from him, the comic book of Phil Parker, and he was in New York. And then Jack Wendell, and the catalog for variation, from variation in the Delta procedures, and then the cost of the procedures, up and down the United States. And then Jack was the money in the United States, and the And the paper was here. And after that, the responsible care organization and the food service were on the road. I also work here, and I'm not sure if anybody here knows of my reference and my network. And I don't think that, although I did my PhD here, I think I'm going to start with the university. It's been very pleasant to work with these people who are really invested in quality and quality. I think I'm talking to you that I work for some of the consultants of this country, so I'm going to look at the location of the I'm not going to mention them anymore today. And then financially, I'm being responsible for the citizens and tools for the working groups, and I'll tell you a bit more about those. And also, maybe I'll just get to the next one I mentioned in the room. I often start by asking people to imagine. Something being said here in this suburb. Now you know how to talk to people like this. What is this to be said? Well, the planning, planning of these things, the getting work, you know, the getting trouble. Okay, well, I knew from Cartoon, so that's the point, and that's the interesting thing. We didn't assume what we did before, but we took the permission. I think we assumed a bit of the person, which is what I was trying to say when I was saying the next slide. It's not just the personal challenge, but I'm people giving me this information. It's about enough information to be the voice of person. I prefer visible. And I often say that I could sing it in the talk at this point, and maybe only to this point. This is the internet. 
it's essentially giving people the power to be able to choose between alternatives. Specifically, too, for many, many reasons. Let's just go on a little bit and see where we go. This is a question. It's part of a series of three questions. And I'd like you to imagine an encounter that you do to be thinking about your house. Probably almost all of you. Think of the most recent encounter. And if you were the person leading that room, how would you score that encounter? Would you score it no effort or merit to help you understand your health issues? Or would you say every effort is not? Would you mind checking the score that and dissipating the statistics you've mentioned? On your way out, you're also asking questions for me. How much effort is made to listen to the things that matter most to you about your health issues? Then still, you want to know. No effort, no reason. Could you choose four that as well? And the next question. How much effort is made to improve what matters most to you, improving what you do next? Thank you. Something else is so hard to know. The maximum score is 27. Who here has scored 27 for the most recent encounter? Anybody? Twenty-six. Twenty-five. Twenty-four. Twenty-three. Okay. Start going. Twenty-two. Twenty-one. Okay. Okay. Start the score. Who here is below 15? Okay. Interesting. We get a spread of scores. The way we tend to report the score is we take the percentage of people who score too much. That's called a top score analysis. So in this room, there was a zero percent of too much. I think that they were much more generous than you in scoring these two areas. No structure score somewhere in the 60%. 60% of humanity. Some doctors in their world score 80 or 85% in that area. But they don't exhibit that when they see things. Welcome, welcome to the family. Country, score out 40 45. We call this the collaborative score, the item essentially, which we give to patients within 24 hours of leaving the clinic. And we can rank things that by their score. We then come back and make the testing on this. And we've got publication, I'm not boring with the details now. But we say psychometric testing will be called into those other liberties and the post-traumatic system. But if you manage to show the permanent liberty, it will be a different level. We also score from about 15 months of data at eight clinicians in Dartmouth in primary care. We collected the collaborative score in the paper, my child participates in courses, and only 50% of the patients are registered in the IVR. IVR is the interactive voice of the disease system. 
the robots to the And then, that's a nice thing to take from So you see with the mode effect, the mode makes a great score. The more anonymous you are, the lower the score. In other words, that's the way that they can be able to keep up. Well, what's interesting in that just is that all these companies are talking is that the relative of each of the companies is in all modes and in one in the same. Now, this is a first time in the country, so that's a few months to it. So, what does it say? Have you ever been able to see how you want to join this kind of exercise in using the company? So, my main point here is that it is possible to make a difference about the efficiency of sharing the system. Informing people, listening to what they want to do, having the exacting way of doing it, and deciding what to do. It's possible to do the same thing. Here's the very first of the conversation. One way to do a development center where we need to be with about 27 people about the training of this project. And we do have a lot of work about the preparation of things and practices. But the real people don't get this together. They prefer the work that they do to the actual. That is called cognitive integration or thought integration. And then we do the simulation study that we're thinking we have to come along. Some of the people on the internet, 1,500 of them, who have a specific level of success in the world, who realize that this is the right step. We did that on a fact that it's quite much bigger. So, my main argument here today is that I think that we can do that. And we have some more than we want to know. We've just run a workshop on two cases of the arthritis of the knee, and then the knee stretching. It's very interesting to just to see that. Here is the engaging person that stimulated people at the particular and at the same time to figure out what is running behind the computer processes as they get to the data. And here's where most of my research has been based in the clinical and clinical. Because I believe that the decisions that they can get in the clinical clinical predict not only the quality, the safety, but also the Most of the studies have used tools called Facebook to be mentioned and considered by the public. And most of this evidence comes from trials of using tools called Facebook. Very strong evidence of more satisfied patients have been taken to court at the end for disability. But we believe that about 16 to 16 percent are in their risk of disability. And 
many of these exceptional periods. In other words, if people are involved in prison and they choose to take the medication or the treatment, they're more likely to take the prescription. The prison policy is a contrary to that. That's why it's a two cost for each and every. It's not that you're allowing them to take the prescription for the society, but for what you're saying to the other person. So it's important for those two elements to be used to prison policy. And there are some prison policy systems that we have for that part of those information to be used to prison policy. And it's not that you can measure the cost of it to prison policy. Lower cost. That's the provincial amount, especially where people are put in electric surgery, which are the case with cardiac surgery. Less than 17 months of patients. This is the majority of the living organizations to invest in the community. So they've seen less than 17 months of patients. They may not need to be used to a very system of protecting the health. So there's less written about the issue. Some are killed and are put to the issue of the one dose per cell. There is a notion of an expectation that the dose per patient leads to the health. Okay, so how do you do this? What does it do to us? We work for today in the global model of the human health. How do you think about being developing and still developing to make sure it's not human? It's essentially modeling the deliberation of patient safety and the lack of safety. First thing to say is that this may not have been a very long discussion. It's probably there from a long distance near the relationship to the patient. You are fortunate to have this sufficient treatment. First element, most people that say they feel the benefits of the medication will say, you know, that's something I normally expect from you if you tell me what to do. I want you to ask for it to guide me and tell me what to do. So most people will be like, um, I don't want to be involved in the decision, but you're a job of that to me. I'm just suggesting that what would be a premature project of deliberation taking until people have understood what it would mean to the last time? And what would a comparison test to show that? So I'm suggesting to you to use a concept called Sensor, where you say, we are going to compare you to the last time. I'm going to be supported to you, and you're coming in in that process. And I'm also going to know what your goal is with treatment. What's important to you in terms of assisting your ability to do so? Three things. Your cells are not clearly being sensitive to that medical treatment. You can see the core that your picture of your cells sensitive. Your cells are not clearly being sensitive to that. What's going to it when you're providing information about reasonable options? That's pretty common in conspiracy. But what's more difficult is to do that in a way that people are fully understand the truth. And the science of risk communication, the communication, how to use tools like offering alerts and the future of some children to show matching frequency of the number of people who are at class, how to obtain a risk and to do an intervention. How many people get this benefit? How many people get this power? Using simple diagrams to show those high probabilities, that's an emerging technique. The aim is that there's bigger and bigger work in getting accurate and complete and realistic information. Bigger health observers say you can have to take that risk for the better. And I was probably interested in the case in the case where it's less easy for people to use that. So they have a whole website for surgery and pricing and all the comparison to show probability of risk to patients. And we're working with those kind of tools out there in the clinical setting. 
order of the truth. And this is the of the truth of the truth. And the truth of the truth is the truth of the truth. And the truth of the truth is the truth of the truth. And the truth of the truth is the truth of the truth. And the truth of the truth is the truth of the truth. And the truth of the truth is the truth of the truth. And the truth of the truth is the truth of the truth. And the truth of the truth is the truth of the truth. Thank you. 